Hey guys, it's Ever Blue Sky. And today I want to share with you something cool that I've been playing called Code Combat. If you've not heard of it, it's a pretty amazing website where uh, you can actually play a game that teaches you how to code. Now, my favorite language uh, on this game is JavaScript, but for the sake of the video, I switched it over to Python because um, the style is very basic and I'm not used to playing it with Python so I got some of the commands wrong but it's pretty awesome you can literally just go to codecombat.com you don't have to even sign in you can just hit play now and start coding immediately so it's an amazing reward system it's got characters that you can equip different armor with so there's four different languages, but I'm um, going to just stay on Python. This is, uh, I have an account, but I didn't sign in, so I could show you that you could just start coding right now. And you can equip. Um, the first equipped is your boots. And it's very, it starts very basic. So your first like level, down you're going to have the, um, the move right command. So it's like a puzzle, basically. You have to get to the other end by um, coding the moves. And obviously, I <laughs> I hadn't played in in a while, so especially in, not in Python. I've never played in Python, so I had no idea what exactly was going on. But what's cool about this game is that um, when you're typing it, it's a lot of typing. Coding is a lot of typing, so when you're typing it, you can just hit enter, and it enters the move for you, including the parentheses that you need. Um, so I was able to, and it, every time that you type in the code, uh, you hit run to run the code. And it tells you what you're supposed to do. Like right now it says, avoid the spikes, collect the gems, hit run. And it'll have comments on what to do. The middle portion shows you um, what commands you have available for you so you don't get you, you don't get confused and you don't know well I could you know what commands am I supposed to use it just tells you you collect gems XP all that um, so we're gonna go on to the next level for the win okay so this is level two and let's see. Code combat. Avoid the spikes. Collect the gems. Start level. Okay. So you just have to figure out, you have to look at the room first and figure out how you're going to get all the gems. Um, since I hadn't play, played it in a while, I had to figure out how many moves how far of the distance she would move and then I realized that if I wanted her to move right and then down and then back up I would have to put in the up command again so you have to remember that that there's only a certain distance that your character will go so you have to make sure you you might have to type the command again in order to complete the level so we're gonna hit run Move right. Move down. Move up. Move up. And Move you can, right. as you can see, it's deploying some knights for the next room. And done. Perfect. Um, and if you guys um, are also interested in other languages as well, I recommend Code Academy. And I'll leave a link below. Um, that is amazing. I just finished the CSS course, and I'm taking, of course, the Python JavaScript course and Ruby course as well. And it's really incredible. It'll teach you how to build websites and um, about data analysis and stuff like that, everything that you need. So, um, and let's see here. So this one, I kind of didn't read the instructions, so be sure to read the instructions. So it says, don't right. run into the spikes, collect the gems, right. and don't be seen by the guard. So that's the opposite of what I did. I basically just said, 
get me the gems. And when I ran the code, it. Move right. Move right. Let's see. Watch this. Move right. Ouch. Yeah, so you can see he started slashing me to death. And, <laughs> and so I had to change my plan. So then that, I realized that I was going to have to put a little bit more effort than I was. And I ended up realizing that I had to do uh, hero.move right and then hero.move up and then right and then down and then right. <laughs> And you basically just do that. And that's what makes it easy is when you have most, if you just, if I were just to type right and it said hero don't move right, I could just hit enter. I, w I didn't have to type move the entire right. thing. I just like to do it for practice. Move up. Move right. And here we go. Move down. But yeah, I've been um, move right. doing school right now. I just started my master's of business administration in IT management. Um, it's not very technical, it's a lot of papers and a lot of project management, um, so I decided to do coding on my own. And I wanted to show you guys um, what my account looks like. So here I'm logging into my account, I just wanted to show you, um, I've had this account for two years, so I just want to show you that as you progress in the game, it adds more uh, coding information and by the end of the game, you basically know a complete right. language. And back in the day, I'm not sure if this is still true, if you were able to complete all the levels and all the games, Code Academy uh, would offer you a job. But I think after so many people completed the game, uh, they <laughs> didn't have any jobs left. So um, this actually took me a while because I had, uh, I had to figure out how to write it in Python, but um, after trial and error, I was able to do it. But well, you guys, uh, it was nice seeing you again, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As I just wanted to show you my profile, I had let's see, joined two years ago, and uh, yeah. So uh, go start coding now. Hit up Code Academy, Code Combat. Um, and I'll see you in the next one.